you can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. For the last 75 seasons, the NBA has been getting greater. It's been crossing over. Crossing borders, bending minds, breaking barriers, and shattering expectations. Because if the league's taught us one thing, it's that we can't predict anything. So don't miss one minute of the 75th anniversary season, where greatness lives on in every game. Visit nba.com 75 to learn more. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle, and we are teaming up with Mary's Place because we got to help out those kids get shoes on their feet. It's kicks for kids. And it's pretty simple, man. We're going into cold season, which means kids need warm footwear. And how about a brand new pair of sneakers to get that done for them? Uh, and they get to pick them out themselves with your donation. You Got to give some love to Nick, Marissa, and Wyatt as they donated 150 bucks for the cause, which is pretty damn awesome. Yeah, rock the hall, rock. Also, shout out to a couple of ladies out there. And I love that it's the ladies that are stepping up and joining the 69 crew. Yeah. Erica A. and Cindy D., both of them. Donated 69 bucks. Cindy D. I like that. <laughs> That's all yeah, 69 crew is just like 69 bucks. But if you can't donate $69, you can't even donate, uh, you know, whatever. whatever. A dollar works. Uh, either way, share this on your social media because maybe some of your friends could help out. Because we really, we got a couple hundred kids here in the Puget Sound that need brand new shoes. And Mary's Place really helps get that done. But maybe you're donating 50 bucks like a lot of people out there have been doing. And, you know, step it up an extra $19. Oh, all right. Look at the challenge. That's a couple less coffees in the week. Throw it down. Kicks for kids. You want to donate? You want to, you know, get more info? Just go to KISW.com. Let's play B. Tequila. Charge out for what? What? Tequila. Tequila. Yeah. <laughs> and Steve, I did get a request on Twitter from a drifting nerd who asked if we could uh, add a couple of uh, tacos to that. So a little taco taco action on there. There we go. Oh, Vicky loves taco taco. Yeah, because. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. You know what? Drifting Nerd's one of our, he's one of our big listeners. I'm yeah, he he's him. awesome. So I, I kicked him a couple tacos there. Plus, he always gives us good stuff. Like, yeah. this guy does more research than I do for this show. Yeah. We're, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's not that. wrong at all. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to our contestant. We've got Jeff and Puyallup. Jeff, are you there? I sure am. Excellent. All right, Steve. Get out of here. Goodbye. Bye. For those playing at home, Jeff will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Jeff, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Yeah, buddy. What is the name of the major soccer league, a uh, major league soccer club that is based in Salt Lake City? Oh, boy. The Mormons. No. <laughs> pass. Which artist created the famous painting, The Starry Night? Uh, Vincent Van Gogh. Yes. The study of the past is called what? History? Yes. What substance in your ears helps keep germs and dirt out? Earwax. Yes. What car manufacturer makes the Yaris? Toyota. Yes. What sport is the subject of the 2002 movie Blue Crush? Oh, uh, soccer. 
surfing. Yes. Miller Brewing All Company right. featured what bird on its trademark? Eagle. Yes. Who will be hosting this season of Dancing with the Stars? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Howie Mandel. No. Pass. What is the name of the robotic vacuum cleaner made and sold by iRobot? Roomba. Yes. What year of the early 2010s did the movie Black Swan come out? Uh, 2011. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Correct. All right. That's not too bad. No. It's yeah. a pretty good score there. So I think it's going to be a competitive right. game. Oh, you think it's going to be close? Yeah, I think it's going to be competitive. I think Steve might have the edge because he <laughs> knows that. I think he knows at least one of the things that Jeff didn't know. Oh. Uh, but do you think he knows the other things that Jeff didn't well, know? That, that's why I think it's going to be competitive. It, it, it's, it's, it's a toss-up if Steve knows everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> when you think Steve, about it, do you know everything? Yeah, do you yes. know everything, Steve? <laughs> oh, all right. Well, then it's been decided. Clearly. Well, are you ready? Yes. Wow. What is the name of the Major League Soccer Club that is based in Salt Lake City? Real Salt Lake. Yes. Good Which job. artist Thank created you. the famous painting, The Starry Night? Ooh, Van Gogh? Yes. The study oh, of the past is called oh, what? Van Gogh. Uh, study of the past? Yeah. Oh, uh, history. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what substance in your ears helps keep germs and dirt out? Wax. Yes. What car manufacturer makes the Yaris? The Yaris? The Yaris. Toyota? <laughs> yes. What sport is the subject of the 2002 movie Blue Crush? What sport? Volleyball. No. Uh, Blue Crush. I'm going to go sp- uh, surfing. Yes. Miller Brewing Company featured what bird on its trademark? Parrot. No. <laughs> An eagle. Yes. <laughs> Who will be hosting this season of Dancing with the Stars? I don't know. Um, Joe Exotic. No. <laughs> um, uh, Aaron Andrews. No. Uh, Steve Harvey. No. What is the name of the robotic vacuum cleaner made and sold by iRobot? Roomba. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ho, ho, ho. It's a the whoa, ha, wa. I think he gets one more guess to that question. I understand. You know, you were confused by it, but that was not the correct answer. Okay. Yeah, so uh, it's the ear question. Okay. Because that wasn't the, his answer was not correct. Okay. What, so just, subs- yeah. what substance in your ears helps keep germs and dirt out? The earwax. Okay, he yes. can say earwax. Because right. wax and earwax is a different thing. It, it, it really is. Wax is what you're making candles, but it is specifically called earwax in our ears. And well, I, I, make thought, my, I make my candles with my earwax. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, you know, Rev, just for the yeah. nitpickers out there, because it isn't just wax. It is called earwax. All right, well then, fine, Steve. You win. Yeah, he did. Yay! I mean, you know, I gave you a chance. Hey. Sorry, Jeff. Hey. All right, Jeff. Thanks for trying, buddy. I told you it was going to be close. It was very close and yeah. competitive. And I was just hoping that, you know, I was hoping that Steve would get all messed up and not know. But, you know, when you, we was like, well, I said wax. I was hoping he would say something like, you know, well, well, one something. of Steve's answers. Yeah, right. Well. You no, know, like 69 or something. <laughs> I want a song is all I want, Red. Yeah, I feel you on that. Uh, who will be hosting this season of Dancing with the Stars? Does I actually care? know this. Does oh, anybody wow. else know it? I know Clearly, it. I do. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know it because uh, Tom Bergeron, the former host, is originally he worked at the uh, he's originally from Massachusetts, and I worked at the same radio station that he did. So I always use that as a badge of honor. Like, hey, uh-huh. Tom and I, okay, I followed in Tom's footsteps. But it's actually our uh, Tyra Banks is yeah. the host. I thought you were going to say Tom Bergeron. I'd be like, yeah. sir, no, you're wrong. Yeah, Tom is uh, <laughs> Tom and Aaron Andrews were let go. Yeah. to freshen up the show. Oh, I didn't even know Aaron Andrews did it. I just thought that Steve was making a funny. She was no, a she was a contestant yeah. turned like sideline reporter for Dancing with the Stars. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah. All All right. Right. Well, I, I I can understand why uh they let Tom go. He's an older dude and they probably want to get some fresh blood in there, but I don't know why Aaron Andrews is let go because I feel like, you know, I mean she's still young enough and 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 and, and, and I think relevant enough, but they were like, get out of here. They want, what, the top model crowd? Is that what they're thinking? I mean, mm-hmm. the funny part is that, I mean, of course, social media is always, you know, going to give you an idea of what's factual. But it seems like <laughs> a lot of people on social media are not happy about Tom Bergeron being, first of all, him being booted from the show because I think they've grown to love him as their host. Yeah. And now there's people on social media just slamming Tyra Banks right now. Like, oh. can she be the first b- person voted off of the show? Somebody <laughs> tweeted. Wow. Yeah, it's a whole different vibe. I mean, it really, really is. Like, what Tyra Banks brings to the table and the kind of show that she can host i think top model has a much different vibe than dancing with the stars and i have nothing wrong i, I don't have anything against tyra banks it's just i don't think the vibe fits 
with that audience that I'm never going to watch the show again. Yeah, it was like, yeah. fortunate enough for me that I'll never have to deal with any of this drama. Yeah, I don't watch the show either, <laughs> but I was very surprised just from a strategic standpoint, like, wow, this mm-hmm. is really interesting. And Erin Andrews is a great story. That's the other thing is the entire story of Erin Andrews of how she's got to be where she is after what she's gone through. I thought it was really like, wow, would you let her go? She's a, I mean, okay, I don't, I, I guess you know what you're doing. Somebody said uh, on Twitter, Reminder that Dancing with the Stars firing Tom and Aaron was ridiculous and unnecessary. Tyra Banks is literally the worst host that's ever existed, and Carol Baskin killed her husband. <laughs> well, on that note, could this be a Jay Leno situation where they bring him back? Uh, you know, they try Ooh, it. Who does Tom have that pull? Well, I mean, I mean, Jay has to have had that pull in order make to do it that. Into like you know, put him on the show as a dancing contestant. Say, if you want your job back, you need to win. Oh, I like that idea. Oh, oh, that would be the greatest story ever. I oh, kind of would tune in. That yeah, would be hysterical. and vote for him on. on the oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I might not watch, but I would still vote for it. It's a great idea, actually. <laughs> well, congrats, Steve, on your win. Create some controversy. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? I love that plan. Wow. Well, uh, while we're trying to figure out what that's about, how about Jeopardy's back? Rev has got to be excited about that. Yeah. New questions. He can steal from me. You know, from and now me. Ken Jennings is a producer slash being groomed, it seems to be. I feel like you're absolutely right. I mean, because we know that Alex's health is what it is, and uh, I don't know how long Alex is going to keep doing it. So Ken, everyone has thought that Ken would be a great host, but it's at least in one, one way he's got himself a job. He's involved with the program, and yeah. rightly so. Yeah. Um, it did. They started airing again yesterday. Of course, they make a few adjustments due to COVID-19. And here's Alex Trebek talking about all of it. Welcome as Jeopardy! begins its 37th season of Whoa. original quiz programming. With a few changes having been made to adjust for COVID-19. The most obvious, of course, you can see right now, we have separated our lecterns so to provide a little extra distancing, social distancing between the players. We have done the same thing for our staff and crew. We're trying to provide as safe an environment as possible as we produce these new programs for your enjoyment. I had no idea they were called lecterns. Oh, yeah. That's what they used to call them in church. Like, you know, um, when you get up there and, and, and where the, 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 mm-hmm. you know, the, the priest would speak, he'd go up to the lectern. I re- that's the only time I've ever heard that use word, uh, that word used is at a church. And they showed a staff people like wiping down their boards and their pens and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, some distance between each other. It would have uh, been funny if they put them on like bubbles. I, that's what I thought is they should have had shields up, mm-hmm. to be quite honest with you. Oh, like the old Get Smart show. Yeah. Where the little oh, the, tubes come down. The do, cone do, of do, silence. Do, 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 do. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Alex sounds good. He, I mean, he he looks good too, man. Does, does Watching he look the video, good? yeah. All right. You know, I I think I'm just projecting that. Oh, he sounds bad, and because I just know he's going through some stuff. But you're right. You know, he, really, if if you played that with some other audio, I really couldn't tell the difference. What are you doing to me? What are you doing, huh? What are you doing to me? What What are you doing, huh? Looks like he might have actually put on some weight, which isn't bad, considering that sometimes when you go through what he's going through, you lose a lot of weight. I'm too sexy for my shirt. So sexy, it hurts. Well, see that? I, I, I see. I noticed, Alex. I noticed you're looking good. What you got cooking? How's about cooking something up with me? Oh, all right. Well, hold on a second, Alex. I just said you look good. I, I mean, you know, I'm a married man. I'm a little drunk. Oh, that's and I is. need you now. That's what it is. All right. Well, I, you know what? No worries. My wife won't mind. Baby, it's 3 a.m., I must be lonely. Uh, that's really what it is, because you're calling. You're, you're talking to me. There are better people out there. I'm I gonna... want my baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. Oh, oh me too. Right. Okay, well, that's uh, is it Applebee's? Who's got those? Stupid answers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was Applebee's. That's uh, not the answer. It's like Chili's, isn't it? Uh, is it Chili's? Oh, damn it. Oh. I know nothing about a dick tree. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> what is Chris Evans? Gangsta's... Isn't that, isn't that a, a blank tree? Okay. Ouch. Oh, that was, I'm trying my best, Steve, on Jeopardy. I'm not doing very well, am I? All right, there's a new survey out. Apparently nearly half of the people said they couldn't make it through an entire day without a certain something. Wiggle, 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 yeah. I don't know if that's a, a certain something, but I'll, I'll tell you what it is, though. Do that at 717 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. You can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. 
Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over eight years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. A survey came out saying, hey, man, about 43% of us uh, say that we would have a real tough time making it through an entire day without the phone. That's right. Our cell phone, our smartphone, whatever that device is. And how about one out of eight people say, oh, yeah, no, I, this would be a real, real problem. I couldn't do it. So that, that, that's a lot of people who, for some reason or another, call it an addiction they need their damn phones. Yeah, I can see how, I think, I'm shocked that I said 50%. Yeah, well, uh, young people, more than older people, say they would have more of an issue. I guess that makes sense because, right. the, you know, they've had phones in their life more than older people have as far as, like, percentage of their life. I don't know, I feel like my dad might be on that, uh, he's, he's really, he's into his phone. You think he would, he would really have a tough time giving it up at his age? I think now wow. it is. Like, he's all about sitting on the recliner and surfing Facebook. That's really cool that your dad's got something like that to do because new technology is tough for the older you get. So the fact that he's been able to figure it out. I mean, depend, depends on who you're asking if it's cool because, you know, that also means that he sends every chain letter possible oh. to me via a direct message. I get a smile on my face every time I get one from your dad because I know he sent it to you as well. I, I, I used to forward him to you and I go, I don't even have to do this anymore. I know Steve's right now is just like eye rolling and face palming because he probably got this same message from your dad. <laughs> I, I just I smile. And I go, Steve's like, oh, Pops. Why, Pops? Yeah, it's a, it's a thing that young people say, I cannot do without my phone. What do you think? Men or women have a harder time Ooh, without their phones? I mean, the, the stereotypical side of me is going to say women. Is it you know, football? Is it? I was going to say, is it football season? Because fantasy oh. football... You might go with dudes. Yeah. Well, I just go with history as well because men have kicked and screamed into the social media world. I remember there were dudes that didn't want anything to do with any of this. And they were, they would give us a hard time going, why are you guys on Twitter? You're a rock show with men. And it turns out, yeah, women were the ones that really got into social media and their phones more so than men. So they're the ones that still, according to the survey, would have a bit of a harder time giving it up. Men themselves, they're like, yeah, I could. So it skews a little bit towards women. So, for the most part, though, a lot of us got that addiction. It's the lukewarm topic of the day. I got to imagine every single person is also leaning more towards like they cannot live without their phone because it's Tinder. Oh, if you're a Tinder it's person. Tinder time. Tinder and fantasy football. I hadn't thought about that. You're right. If you're a Tinder person. <laughs> that's going to be the name of my mixtape. <laughs> how do you get along without the phone? I mean, Tinder needs the phone, right? There's no other way to do it, is it? Yeah. You just go out your window and just yell a whole bunch that you're looking for some. <laughs> what? Like I said, a woman walks by, you go, swipe left. <laughs> oh, yeah, you wave That'll your probably arm. probably work. You wave your arm to the left, or you wave your arm to the right, and they're like, what are you doing? I'm going to get away. Get out. I'm waiting for the next one I come by. Or it's like your window is painted to look like a Tinder swiper. Oh, my God. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> I, I tell you something Funny like, and uh, pathetic. I think that would be great. You walk into somebody's house and say, hey, come look at my window. And you're like, oh, dude, really? Yeah. yeah it's like a screen tender swiper. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, yeah, sure. For a lot of us, giving up the phone would be hard. But how about this? Uh, there's other things out there that maybe it's not your phone, but you're just as addicted to. So some people go, what's wrong with you people? I don't need my phone. All right, then. What is it that you couldn't give up? 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Sure. Sure, a lot of people, nearly half of them, say they couldn't live without their phone. But what about you? Finish this sentence. I couldn't make it through an entire day without blank. Your calls, your texts, after some 41 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. So uh, this new survey says nearly half of us would be like, man, I cannot live without my phone. I need that. So how about you? Uh, finish the sentence. I couldn't make it through an entire day without blank. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. I got to agree with this person. I cannot. And I think my wife would be on the top of the, this list as well. I cannot go an entire day without coffee, coffee, and more coffee. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so crazy because when my wife was pregnant, she could not stand coffee. So she became like a tea person, which was really nice for our wallets because, you know, you could just buy those teas and, you know, but like 
So now all of a sudden then we have the child, and of course, you know, little Tatum keeps her busy, so you know she's tired a lot, so she's obsessed with coffee, but also likes to leave the house and do something. So the one thing you can do these days is go to the coffee stand. So it's Bigfoot, they know our order like that now, dude. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like we pull up to Bigfoot, and the lady's like, "Are you getting one for your wife too?" I'm like, "Yep." She's like, "This, this, and this." I'm like, "Yep." <laughs> we are that couple. Dude, it starts that way because I would—I never was a coffee guy. I thought the, thought the taste of coffee was horrible, mm-hmm. and now it's like a—it's a, like a Pavlov thing. You give me coffee flavored, and it, just the idea, just a little sip of it, mm-hmm. and it just makes me happier. Let alone with what it does for you, caffeine wise. So I—I I get it. Those kids, right. man, they—they they turn you on to some of the dark sides of life. Dude, then you don't have to have caffeine anymore. It's just I love the taste, and it's, it's just something fun to do though my wife gives me a hard time because it's in summer and i'm still getting a hot coffee i don't i don't like cold brews oh so. really i mean they're fine but i drink them too quick <laughs> <laughs> these are the problems judge, you have judge, judge, well yeah you know judge. i want to get my mo- my money's worth oh a cup I see of coffee ain't yeah, yeah, cheap yeah, yeah, i don't want to yeah. suck it down and then be done with it and be like where did i wait i just wasted my uh, money oh so the heat keeps that from happening yeah it gives me a good like 30 uh, minutes with that bitch <laughs> 30 minutes with one cup of coffee? Yeah, yeah he drinks some cold-ass coffee. Dude, that's... Okay, well, he, he actually turns it into a this cold is, brew yeah, at some point. This is my same coffee from 4 in the morning. Is that really? So yeah. crazy. Okay, dude, that... You need to you need to heat that up. Why? <laughs> because I, I enjoy the process of it starting really hot and then, and then getting warmer as it goes along. I mean, you do you on that, but... I am. And I'm not judging me. You guys are. Yeah, no, no, no we are. It. Sorry, dude. We are all judging you, <laughs> and I would like you to... Stop. Somebody please send him emails and texts and whatever and judge him on that one. That is... That's no, a little it's, weird. It's a quirk. Yeah, a quirk. I it's like quirky. That that's, 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 that's what word. it is. 206 rock Text us at 77999. So they're pretty much people say they cannot go through a day without their phone. How about you? What can't you make it through an entire day without? For me, it has to be talking to Lily every day on oh, FaceTime. Oh, Jota. Aww. Yeah. I didn't I, know you did it every day. Oh, yeah, every day. I, we, we make at least a little time every day. And usually, because we have my designated days to call her where we have like longer conversations. Right. Where we do like school stuff or color together, stuff like that. But like on the days that we don't do that, it's at least brushing our our teeth together every night so that's kind of been our thing of just and it like i the days wow. that the days that it hasn't happened or she's fallen asleep early i just get like really upset like yeah it kind of like you feel like you're missing something yeah it's just like i uh, i want to just talk she's like i usually call her the next morning and be like why didn't you call me and she's like i fell asleep dad and i'm like okay cool can i give you a little <laughs> uh, good trainer for the future of one day having like a very obsessive boyfriend yes exactly why didn't you text me i texted you two minutes ago <laughs> Danny, can I give you a little perspective? Yeah, sure. Because, and Steve, I don't know, this may be different when you were raised Tatum, but I, ha- I have to tell you, my memory is that I never had those daily appointment moments with my kids. I think because you are a far away from her, you de- basically have these moments where you give her all your attention, and frankly, my kids were there, but I don't remember doing that one thing every day where it's mm-hmm. like they had my 100% of attention. So I think that's actually uh, one positive from you being long distance is I don't remember having a daily moment like that. I, I, they oh, yeah. were there. I did my stuff. I went and did my work. But you specifically go, here's an appointment where I'm going to give you 100% of my attention. I think that's something my kids never got, and I think that's a benefit. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, and it's something that kind of like sprung out of nowhere where we were just one day I was on the phone and I was like, hey, do you want to brush your teeth? And she's like, sure. So we came up with a little toothbrush dance and stuff like that. So that way we could do it. For Why the aren't you recording your toothbrush dance? You have to. to mm-hmm. I mean, I can. And by the way, do you have an electric toothbrush? I mean, yeah. So are you guys talking while you're brushing your teeth or are you just like just dancing? Singing. Nice. We usually sing the goofy movies. This is a genius. Do you know how difficult it is to get a little kid to brush your teeth? Mm hmm. I mean, you're, Danny, on every level, this is pretty brilliant. Hey, thanks. I, well, yeah. yeah, but he's singing while brushing his teeth, well, like humming, spraying like, stuff. In, no, okay, because that's kind of nasty. Yeah. Listen, don't let, listen. He's getting his kid. Rev, when you have a child, you will do anything to get I them to do something. I have two children. Like thank you, Frank and Carl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How often do they cat treats to brush their teeth? Yeah. Well, that's good. Maybe you should I, uh, give your yeah. Lily a cat treat. Oh, <laughs> <I'm>, uh, <laughs> see what happens. I'm tapping to out of the Rev's children <laughs> conversation. Temptations are really good. That might hurt your opportunities to talk to her every day, though. I think. Probably true yeah 206 421 rock texas at 77999 i couldn't make it through an entire day without blank uh so i just texted in bong hits <laughs> two simple words bong hits yeah you talk about coffee and and your wife he talks about bong hits for me it's sugar I read read a book a long time ago uh, called Bright Line Diet, and they basically said here's how you can find out if you're addicted to sugar and i found out yep i am well how do you find out 
Well, she has she has like ten things. Oh, okay. And that's a checklist in the book that says blah 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 blah. blah. Chances are you're addicted to sugar, and so you pound a dozen donuts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it, it's. <laughs> Do it's, not even drink coffee. You just take the sugar packet and yeah. just snort it. Deep and so, I, I, it's interesting because I'll find a way to get it in the, at least the lowest calorie form. Mm-hmm. But if I do not get a treat, it's what I would call it. If I don't get a treat, which is a sweet treat, I am miserable. Yeah, like my dog. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so yeah, that that's my thing. I mean, it, it, you know, and I don't even want to admit it because I feel like such Why? a... Because I feel like a failure that I can't go Dude, there's documentaries and studies yeah. done about how sugar is such an addictive thing. You're right. So, I mean, there's no... Sh- I'm not saying that you should, like, go crazy with your sugar, but there's no shame in it. Obviously, it's a... a, a it, it has an impact on people to the point where it's it's considered addictive. Yeah, and it's it's that's my thing. That that's and, and so don't go down yeah. to hall to the uh, to our sister station. They got stuff. Uh, they might have Krispy Kremes. I saw. Whoa! How come they're not out here for us? Because they're clearly not sharing. <laughs> well, we share with them all the time. Right. Ooh, I, well, I, shots fired. How dare they? You know what? I'm going to put it on the radio because I'm going to say Matt. Whenever we have stuff, we put it on the counter and we let you have it. Look, I'm not going to say if it was mad or not, but when I was driving in, crossing the street with Emily, and she had a bag of Krispy Kreme donuts. So I don't know which I one brought the Emily. Krispy Kreme two, donuts. Two minutes ago, BJ was talking about how addicted to sugar yes. he is, exactly. and now he's losing my his mind because sugar. he's being denied donuts. You're right. He's- Krispy <laughs> Kreme is my favorite form of delivery of that addiction. <laughs> Emily's up, holding out on me. Yeah, I think they were even like singing songs this morning about how they're not going to show with BJ. <laughs> I, I heard that when I walked in. Right? How dare they? Yeah. I'm with you. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is this a problem there? I'm going to, you know what? They're I dead. thought we were all friends. I thought I did too. Mm-hmm. They're getting, they better figure this out. I see your son's in the room. Oh, that's <laughs> good. I'm just waiting for the break to end so I can go talk to them in a very stern <laughs> way. Joey D's just, nuts. just knock on the window of their studio door and stare at them and just, and just yell, how dare you? Yeah. What about the rest of us? I wish you guys could have seen Steve's grin on his face when he told DJ that. It was oh, yeah. incredible. I know. You tell somebody you have an addiction, what does Steve do? Steve goes, oh, here's a perfect opportunity. Yeah, you see Alex? He brought in a bunch of Coke. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Steve is an agent of chaos. You understand that if it was like in the back of the day's age of Coke, somebody would be dead at this point <laughs> for not sharing their Coke. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but I can't go a day without my glasses. For those of you who don't know, I am blind as a bat. I, I can't go a day without pants. Or I no. can't breathing. Well, like well, Sarah can't really see, and she never wears her glasses. She, she has the same eyesight I, I do, but she can go fine without it, except driving, of course. But besides that, I went a day in Vegas without my glasses because I broke them in the club the night before. <laughs> Dude, I can't. Like, If I take my glasses off right now, Steve, I can't see your face. Yeah. I, I'm six Sarah, feet away from you. I don't know what you look like. Because Sarah's gone, not that bad, Jim. No, nothing. Yeah. You can't and, see me doing that. I was sticking my tongue out. No, Vicky's hair color, she's three feet from me. I can't see it. But that might work out well when you're in Vegas. You don't really want to see some of the people you're talking to. That's a really good call. Yeah, but when you're playing blackjack and you can't see your own cards, Woo! it's not a good way to keep your money. That's what they want you to do. So that's probably why they had you break your glasses. Here you go, sir. Get drunk, break your glasses, and give us your money. Yeah, your, your eyesight may be worse than your sister's, actually. That's because if you can't see Steve, I can't see Steve without my contact lenses. And yeah, it's not good. I got it from you? Yeah, sorry. Well, yeah, you know, bad eyesight is a heredity. heredity you know, I knew there was a good reason for it, Steve. Thank you. Yeah. I blame BJ. Thanks, oh, yeah, Dad. no, it's all me. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, you got them short eyeballs. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good old short eyeballs, Joey. Yeah, short eyeballs, Joe. That's what it is. I hope that nickname doesn't stick. Oh, uh, yeah. If we were the mafia, it would. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Short eyeballs, Joe. And look, there's a lot of people texting saying they drink coffee the same way as I do. So shout out to all the texters and the rockaholics. I'm with Steve. Start off extra hot. Let it cool down over hours without reheating it. Nothing wrong with it. No, there is. Hey, BJ. I can can, uh, give your mood a little bit of a boost. What happened? There's donuts in the kitchen. They heard us. They must have. You know what? Shout I've out to all said, the Wolf listeners. Yeah. T- probably snitching on us. In. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> appreciate that. You and snitch tagged us, yeah. didn't you? That's quite all right. It's like, you know what? I, I, I was Now I can be, instead of going in there yelling at them, I can thank them. For one time, I'm glad we don't have soundproof studios. <laughs> <laughs> they probably heard that. Yeah. yeah. Probably You're right. Yeah, we didn't have to send it to anybody. Just the, these lovely little thin walls we have. Hey, uh, we talked earlier about... Uh, <laughs> Carol Baskin. Uh, turns out the family of Carol Baskin's dead husband ran an ad during Dancing with the Stars 
which Carol, of course, is appearing on. Dude, this is so awkward and, and, and epic that they did this. You're going to hear this ad at 747 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. Here's another listener question. How do I rebuild my credit after filing bankruptcy? Uh, you rebuild it, you know, one creditor at a time by making your payments on time to, on your on your rent or your mortgage, by continuing to make car payments at, on a car that you keep during your case. Um, you can also, as I said, or, uh, you can almost always get a credit card almost immediately after filing bankruptcy. Sometimes it's a secured card and it'll almost always have a really high interest rate on it, but you can get a small balance credit card and you know, charge a tank of gas or, or a dinner once a month on that and make the payment, pay it off every month, and that'll help you build a credit history one creditor at a time and will help you rebuild your credit over time. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. If your tank water heater's over eight years old, you may be sitting on a ticking time bomb. It could start leaking without warning, causing far more damage than the loss of the heater itself. Consider replacing it with a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to leak, endless hot water for spa-like comfort, longer life, and backed by Navian's strong warranty. Before time runs out, visit TanklessMadeSimple.com for the name of your Navian contractor. Count on Navian.